Hey everyone, Jan here, codingwithjan.com. In this video, I'll show you how to add a free welcome gift to an order only by using Shopify Flow and none of the paid apps. Of course, you can add any item you want and I'll also show you how to implement different conditions. So in this example, I'll say it must be the first order coming from that customer to qualify for this welcome gift. But you could also do it based on, let's say, order value thresholds if the order is above 50 bucks or something. So we'll explore different options here. I also think this makes a great example because you will learn how to use Shopify's admin GraphQL API in Shopify Flow, which is quite important. And if you want to work or learn together, links in the description, I would love to. All right, then let's jump right in. The first thing we need is an item that we want to add to the order. And yeah, here I'm going with this coffee scoop because I'm working on a coffee store, which kind of makes sense. And even if the item is gonna be a free gift, you still wanna add a product price because then we can also give a 100% discount and it looks a little more premium. Okay, now in order to be able to later add this item, we need to figure out its variant ID. And this might be a little confusing because there's a product ID and a variant ID. But if you want to add items to an order or to the cart, you always need the variant ID. So even if this product doesn't have multiple sizes, multiple colors, multiple options, there's still at least one variant behind the scenes representing the product. In order to figure out the ID, the easiest way is to just go to the URL here on the product page and then add .js, which gives you all the data in the JSON format. And the first number we see right here is the product ID, but we are interested in the variant ID. So this is going to be the ID that we later need. So I'll take note of this and save it for later. All right, from here, we can jump directly into Shopify Flow. If you don't have the app yet, just quickly go to the app store and install it. It's completely for free. And once the app is installed and you arrive at the dashboard, we want to create a new workflow. Here, I want to start building from scratch. And the first thing we have to do is select a trigger. This is the, the trigger that starts the workflow or the event that invokes this whole workflow. And the event that we're looking for right now is order create or order created in this case. So when a new order is created, we want to do something. Okay, from here, we want to add the next block, which is going to be a condition. Because in my example, I see whether it's the first order from that customer and only then add the welcome gift. So this is basically our filter mechanism. And this could also be the order value or anything else you want. So then let's see what kind of variables we have available. Since we started with the order created trigger, Shopify Flow already suggests all the data attached to this order or almost all the data. So we can access this right here. And here we have so many different data fields like the billing address and yeah, discount codes that were applied, um, stuff regarding the order status, like so many different fields. It's oftentimes easier to just search for what you're looking for or brainstorm this with ChatGPT, like what fields could be available. In this case, we're interested in the number of orders. And we do have a field for that right here under the purchasing entity, customer, and then number of orders. Here we also have a small description, so it reads the number of orders that the customer has made at the store in their lifetime. Sounds pretty promising. Okay, since it's the first order coming from that customer, the number of orders should be equal to one in this example. And then this block should also be good to go. Now, if this is true, if the condition is met, we want to continue with the next action. And the next action is gonna be adding the line item, adding our free product, and then also applying the 100% discount code so that it's actually free. So let's look at the actions we have. And here we want to make an admin API request. So I'll search for admin API. Now this is extremely extensive because the API is huge and we can request so many different data fields. We can do so many different mutations. But in this case, we're interested in order edit begin. And we're using this block because then we can make multiple edits, for example, add the product, apply the discount, and then commit them all at once because otherwise the customer might also get multiple emails that their order has changed. Okay, then in order to start our order edit, we need to provide the order ID. And here we can just use add variable, go to order, which is coming from our order created trigger. And then we're looking for the ID. Okay, a globally unique identifier for this order. Let's go with this one. Looks good. 
All right, then as the first step of our order editing, we want to add our new product. So I'll go to action and then basically send another admin API request. This time we want to add a variant. So maybe just search for add variant. Yeah, this looks good. Order edit add variant. And here we need to provide a few more input variables like the order ID, the ID of the order we want to edit. But this is not going to be the original order because when we use this block right here, order edit begin, to stage multiple edits before committing them all at once, we also get a temporary order ID from this block right here. So after your cursor is in between the quotes, you can click on add variable and then select our order edit begin block. And here you can see this temporary or calculated order object. And then we need that ID. The variant ID is what we copied earlier, but here we need to pay attention because as a prefix, we need to type in the following global ID colon double slash Shopify slash and then product variant. And also make sure that these are capital letters product variant and then one final slash. And then we paste the numbers that we copied earlier. So that's the ID from my coffee spoon. The location ID can be blank or removed. Then it will just take the default location. Quantity should be one. And then for allow duplicates, you can decide for yourself whether you want to set this to true or false. True means the customer would also get this welcome gift if they already have the spoon in their cart. And false means we don't do duplicates. And then we can save this block as is. In the next step, I now want to grant the 100% discount on our welcome gift. So I'll add a new block right here, action. This is going to be another admin API request. Send admin API request. And this time it's going to be a line item discount. So let's search for line item discount. Order edit add line item discount. Sounds good. And again, here we need to provide a bunch of different input fields. Number one, the order ID. After we've added our new variant, we received a new temporary ID. So I'll add a variable here. And then from the last block where we added the variant, I'll select the calculated order and then its ID. The line item ID should point to the item we want to discount. And in order to figure that out, we can also take it from the previous block where we've added our item. So I'll add a new variable here from our previous block. And here we have the calculated line item. And then somewhere in here, we should also find the ID. Then we need to take care of the discount. The description is going to be free. Fixed value doesn't make any sense here. So I'll remove this entire block, including the curly bracket and this comma. And the percentage value is going to be 100. Okay, that looks good to me. We are editing the temporary order. We've selected the right line item and we give a 100% discount. Let's save this block as is. And now we have all the changes we want in place. So we're starting a new order edit. We add the variant and then we also apply the discount. So now we can finally commit all our changes. And in order to do that, let's add one final action block here. This is going to be our last admin API request in this example. And here we can search for commit. Order edit commit. And now we have to tell Shopify which changes we want to commit. So here I'll use the ID, the calculated order ID after our last block, after applying the discount. So in between the quotes, I'll add a new variable. And then from our discount block, I use the calculated order and then ID. Next, we can decide whether we want to notify the customer. I'll set this to true because then they would receive the order update email and they'll see that they qualify for the free welcome gift. And this is also the main reason why we did it in multiple steps, like order edit begin, first edit, second edit, and then commit all the changes. 
because otherwise they might receive multiple emails in between. Lastly, we could also add a staff node, just an internal node that might help in fulfillment, but I don't need that for now. So I'll close this out. The last thing I do now is give this flow a descriptive name. So I'll just call it add free welcome gift on first order and then turn it on for testing. Also one super quick recap at this point. So when a new order is created, we check whether it's the customer's first order. And if yes, we start making changes to the order. We add our variant, we add the discount, and then we commit all these changes. It's actually pretty straightforward. Okay, then let's also do a quick test order, which is always important. Yeah, you wanna make sure the workflows are actually working. And to save you a bit of time, I already prepared this. So I have a couple of products in card. I made sure to use a new customer email address and then just some test data. And then we can place this order. Okay, order is confirmed. So that should trigger our new workflow on order created. And if we now check on the back end and inspect this order, we can see that the free coffee scoop has been added with our description with 100% discount. So far, so good. And I also got the updated email notification with the coffee scoop that was added for free. Maybe the description welcome gift would actually be better, but I think we can call this proof of concept awesome. If something didn't work out as expected in terms of debugging, you can also just come back to your flow and then scroll down because here you see the recent runs. And then if we go into this run, we can see all the different blocks and what happened at these different blocks, including the data that was passed along. So here you would see exactly what didn't work and what caused it to break. And then after fixing the workflow, you can even retry this run with the exact same data. So you don't always have to go through the checkout and create new test orders. All right, and that's it for this one. I think this was a good example of how to use Shopify Flow, how to make admin API requests, how to debug your flows if necessary. And yeah, if you got any questions or any other topics you would like to see, comment them down below. And if you want to work or learn together, links in the description, I would love to. And then have an amazing rest of your day or week and I'll catch you in the next. Bye.